Welcome to Star Technology 5G. In the last video, we studied how to toggle LED with switch using PIC16 F877 microcontroller. In today video I will show you how to select switch case using PIC16 F877. Let's start the video. Please subscribe to the Star Technology 5G and click on the bell icon. Project, how to select switch case. In this project, LEDs are connected with port D and switches are connected to RC0, RC1, and RC2 pins of the PIC16 F877 microcontroller, and the microcontroller is operated from an 8 MHz crystal. LEDs are connected in current syncing mode and the value of the resistor is 260 ohm. If we press the switch 1 it will select the switch case and when we press the switch 2 it will display the result. If we press the switch 3 it will reset the LED's status to its default state. Here is the circuit diagram we are using in our project. It is PIC16 F877 microcontroller. Pin number 1 is master reset. If we press the switch it will reset the microcontroller. Port D is interfaced with 8 LEDs and we are using the current syncing mode of the LEDs and the value of the resistors is 260 ohm pin RC0 is connected with switch 1 pin RC1 is connected with switch 2 pin RC2 is connected with switch 3 and that is pull up resistor the value of the resistor is 4.7 kilo ohm other side of the switch is connected with ground Pin numbers 13 and 14 are connected with an 8 MHz crystal and 22 PF capacitors are connected with the crystal. Pin number 11 and 32 are connected with positive 5 volts. Pin number 12 and 31 are connected with ground volt. Let draw this circuit in Proteus.
The circuit is ready now we will write its code in micro CPIC. Here is the window where we can write the code. I already wrote the code otherwise video gets very long. And I will copy the code. And I will paste it here. Now I will define you the code. S bit. LED 1. At port D bit 0. This line define LED 1 at port D pin D 0. S bit. LED2 at port D bit 1 This line define LED2 at port D pin D1 S bit LED3 at port D bit 2 This line define LED3 at port D pin D2 S bit LED4 at port D bit 3 This line define LED4 at port D pin D3 S bit LED5 at port D bit 4. This line define LED 5 at port D pin D4. S bit. LED 6. At port D bit 5. This line define LED 6 at port D pin D5. S bit. LED 7. At port D bit 6. This line define LED 7 at port D pin D6. S bit. LED 8. At port D bit 7. This line define LED 8 at port D pin D7. S bit. SW1 at port C bit 0. Dot this line define switch 1 at port C pin C0. S bit. SW2 at port C bit 1. Dot this line define switch 2 at port C pin C1. S bit. SW3 at port C bit 2. Dot this line define switch 3 at port C pin C2. Unsigned char x that is variable. Void ms delay. Here is function of debouncing delay. Unsigned char z. Define variable name z. For loop. z equals 0. z less than 5. And increment z. We used for loop for creating delay. Void main. From here main code is start. trisd equals 0 x 0 0. It is hex code its binary value is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. It will set port D as output port. TRISCRC0 equals 1. It will set port C pin 0 as input pin. TRISCRC1 equals 1. It will set port C pin 1 as input pin. TRISCRC2 equals 1. It will set port C pin 2 as input pin. Port D equals 0 XFF. It is hex code its binary value is 11111111. This line turn off all LEDs. X equals 0. Set initial value of X is 0. While 1. Is endless loop. If switch 1 is equal to 0. If switch 1 has press. Call MS delay. Wait for debouncing. While. SW1 equals 0. Dot stay here while switch 1 has press. Means how long we press the switch it will stay here. Increment the value of x. If x equals 9 then set x equals 0. If switch 2 is equal to 0. If switch 2 has press. Call ms delay. Wait for debouncing. While. SW2 equals 0. Dot stay here while switch 2 has press. Switch X. And find switch case. Case 0. If the value of X equals 0. Then switch command select case 0. In case 0 we turn off all LEDs. LED1 equals 1. Dot turn off LED1. LED2 equals 1. Dot turn off LED2. 
LED3 equals 1. Dot turn off LED3. LED4 equals 1. Dot turn off LED4. LED5 equals 1. Dot turn off LED5. LED6 equals 1. Dot turn off LED6. LED7 equals 1. Dot turn off LED7. LED8 equals 1. Dot turn off LED8. We can also turn off all LEDs by using single line code. Port D equals 0 XFF. Break. Break terminate the switch command. Case 1. If the value of X equals 1. Then switch command select case 1. In case 1 we will toggle the LED 1. If LED is on then turn off LED. And if LED is off then turn on LED. X equals 0. And clear the value of X. Break. Terminate the switch command. Case 2. If the value of X equals 2. Then switch command select case 2. In case 2 we will toggle the LED 2. X equals 0. And clear the value of X. Break. Terminate the switch command. Case 3. If the value of X equals 3. Then switch command select case 3. In case 3 we will toggle the LED 3. X equals 0. And clear the value of X. Break. Terminate the switch command. Case 4. If the value of X equals 4. Then switch command select case 4. In case 4 we will toggle the LED 4. X equals 0. And clear the value of X. Break. Terminate the switch command. Case 5. If the value of X equals 5. Then switch command select case 5. In case 5 we will toggle the LED 5. X equals 0. And clear the value of X. Break. Terminate the switch command. Case 6. If the value of X equals 6. Then switch command select case 6. In case 6 we will toggle the LED 6. X equals 0. And clear the value of X. Break. Terminate the switch command. K7. If the value of X equals 7. Then switch command select K7. In K7 we will toggle the LED 7. X equals 0. And clear the value of X. Break. Terminate the switch command. K8. If the value of X equals 8. Then switch command select case 8. In case 8 we will toggle the LED 8. X equals 0. And clear the value of X. Break. Terminate the switch command. If switch 3 is equal to 0. It will reset the LEDs to a default state. Call MS delay. Wait for debouncing. While. SW3 equals 0. Dot stay here while switch 3 is pressed. X equals 0. And clear the value of X. LED1 equals 1. Turn off LED1. LED2 equals 1. Turn off LED2. LED3 equals 1. Turn off LED3. LED4 equals 1. Turn off LED4. LED5 equals 1. Turn off LED5. LED6 equals 1 turn off LED6. LED7 equals 1 turn off LED7. LED8 equals 1 turn off LED8. Now we will create the hex file. Just click on the build icon. Finished successfully. File is created now we will load hex file into the microcontroller. Double click on the microcontroller. Select the hex file. OK. And click on the run simulation. If we press the switch 1 it will select the switch case. If we want to turn on LED 3 then press switch 1 3 times. And press the switch 2. It will show the result. If we want to turn on LED 7 then press switch 1 7 times. 
and press the switch to. It will show the result. If we want to turn off LED 3 then press switch 1 3 times. And press the switch 2. It will turn off LED 3. If we press switch 3 it will reset the LED status to its default state. If you have any problem with the code let me know in comments. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the Star Technology 5G. And. Keep watching Star Technology 5G.